Hello, I'm Rachel Kleppmiller with Force Management, and I'm also heading up content on our new Ascender platform. We're so excited about Ascender and how it will help individual reps. I know some of you who know Force well may have some questions about it. So I wanted to snag our co-founder Grant Wilson for a brief conversation about the platform, uh, what it is and what it isn't. Hi, Grant. Hi, Rachel. And I know you're excited to talk about this today. So let's just go ahead and dive into it. Let's talk about what a sender is and who it's for. Fantastic. So when we think about who, who a sender is actually for and why we built the platform out of the, out of the gate, it's really for that seller that's trying to fine tune their skills, be better, um, really work hard at, they're a student of the game. Uh, and they're, they're looking to build their skills, build their capabilities, and overall just serve their customer better. And when you think about what it takes to do that, it usually falls across three big categories. One is, it, as I'm building those skills, I'm out looking around, I'm trying to find great best practices from others, great content, great thought leadership about how to eat, whether it's articulating value or learning how to qualify better or negotiate a little better. I'm looking for that information and scouring across the internet, looking for that, looking for that so I can use that in my daily daily activities and what I'm doing and build my skill sets. The second thing I'm trying to do is to find great, rich, and deep uh, training and curriculum, things that I can really dig into and learn some more skills, more capabilities, and then figure out how to apply my experience to that or apply it to what I'm doing in day-to-day -day, day -day selling activities. And then finally, It'd be great for me, and I'm always looking for others, people that I can I can uh, participate with, get mentorship with, talk about things with, discuss how to apply these and how to actually use them when I go to, go to do my job from a sales perspective. And so that community is really important. Yeah, there's a lot that we can learn from others who have the same role that we do. And it, it, you said it well. This is really for individuals beyond what their company. Uh, might give them an, an enablement. A sender is not command of the message online. It's not your value framework online. Talk a little bit more about how it is different than force management's core offerings. Really good. And, and if, if for those of you that have either worked with force management in the past or know us um, from just seeing us in the marketplace, Force management is specifically about transforming organizations. And the way we think about that is, it's really a four, four layer process. You know, the first one is mindset. How do we help that company align around an outside in mentality and focus on the buyer and how the buyer makes a decision? Then how do we put processes in place to make sure we reinforce that and do that in a way that's about the buyer? Then we think about the tools necessary based on the job I have and the role I fulfill for my company. And then finally, we layer in that content so that we can actually engage that customer in just a great way. So it's on force management side, it's all about how do we help organizations really drive effectiveness and alignment behind that, that whole premise. On the ascender side, it's really about the individual. How do we help that individual leverage what's out there, whether it's thought leadership, curriculum, training, or the community so they can build themselves and their ability to sell better and perform better. And it's more of a complement, right? While, while some of the concepts may sound similar, it's more around focusing in on the individual applying those concepts for themselves. Yeah, well said, well said. And I, I think it's also important to note that Ascender really helps us fill a gap in those current core force management offerings. They are helping out individuals. And also, they can, a center can be an avenue for small teams who may not be ready for a full-fledged force engagement because they're too small. They may only have three or four reps or only a couple people. Those reps can individually get on the platform and uh, improve their improve their game. It's also a way for people who have enjoyed our Audible Ready sales podcast. You know, Grant, I'm partial to that. Um, mm -hmm that little uh, content piece and our blog to really get all that content in one platform along with curriculum certification and community. I, I think your point on it fills a gap is dead on, right? Because it allows me as an individual 
I'm not necessarily either dependent on the company, which by the way is okay, right? But for my pace, the pace that I'm ready to move in. And, and so now I can start to explore and find other ways to improve my skills on my own. And I can do it in the way that's important to me. Great breakdown. Appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. All right. And all of you, check it out. My.ascender.co.